with good grace by susan dawson english heroine it said in the newspapers but i think they were talking poppycock who wouldn't go and help people stranded off a wrecked steamship after the forfisher went down they were clinging onto the rocks for dear life so i never really thought twice about it it must have been the few survivors father and i rescued who broke the story because round these parts you are supposed to do that sort of thing without a fuss i am after all a lighthouse keeper's daughter i sometimes think it's having a name like darling that makes people inclined to write me letters and paint my portrait or maybe it is just the thought of a young woman rowing through a storm when i try and work it out it must have been about that year 1838 when my cough started now i have a much more difficult journey to make and this time one that won't get me a silver medal nor would it be eased by another 50 pounds from the queen at least with that i have something to leave my family as well as these little gifts i have made for those who can get to see me thomasin is already here grace's chief nurse she calls herself i really wanted to carry on living at the lighthouse but conditions can be bleak out there and father wanted to see if some country air might help even a bracing breeze and wonderful cheviot scenery couldn't shake off this awful consumption so it was decided i should return to coastal parts to be nearer to home i do hope mam arrives in time she's normally reluctant to leave longstone island and has hung on too long for news of me so i pray the stormy weather allows the cobel to get across before the end they are going to bring the box bed from grandad's old cottage along to uncle's house for me strangely enough it was the one in which i was born so it has come full circle and somehow that brings me peace